By the age of 10, my parents settled in Dublin and founded a music school. And I basically grew up in this music school. So I've been surrounded by music my whole life. I've been performing since I'm five. And so the combination of traveling a lot and living in different countries means that I've heard a lot of folk music. I've heard a lot of dance music in the folk style, traditional music and so on. And that has affected the choice of pieces I perform when it comes to the virtuoso repertoire. Some of these pieces my students had never heard of before, although the people I feel that I grew up with would have found this repertoire relatively common. The more and more I thought about it, the more I realized that these pieces aren't being played, possibly because a lot of them are originally scored for solo violin and large orchestra, which makes it for many young aspiring students who wish to have performance careers nearly impossible to ever play them in their original version. And the alternative is to play them with piano alone, which can be slightly frustrating because although the piano is a wonderful instrument, it cannot encompass the exact same sound as up to 80 people could or even 23 strings could in the sense in the case of a chamber orchestra. So, as I was progressively thinking about all of this, I realized, okay, the best step is to arrange the pieces for a much smaller formation, in such a way that, theoretically, students studying could play these pieces with friends, which is basically the idea, that these pieces that I'm playing don't disappear from the world, they are not becoming ghosts, and they are not becoming pieces that you practice but you never play, that they are actually, they continue to be pieces that are internationally recognized as being part of the violin repertoire.